Hello, Tony Books of Vila is here at the Body House, 333 Sand Lane, my personal training studio. Come down and see us sometime if you're on Staten Island. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the word faith. A small word, only five letters, but within it holds the secrets to the success and the possibilities for your life. Now, when we think about faith, very often we talk, we think about images of spirituality, how you worship, but we want to talk about faith from the definition of its most generic meaning, which has to do with your belief in the possibilities of what you want to be, do, or have coming to fruition. So as I'm speaking to you today, we are entering the third week of the new year. And I was chuckling last week because I was talking about some of the posts that you see on social media with people talking about the great food that they're eating and the amount of exercise that they're performing. And I was saying that most of those people who are making those kind of statements and posts will not be doing the same thing in March. As a matter of fact, one of my clients said that today is the official is the official give up your resolution day. And then what happens is that most people, by the, by the time we enter the third week, are done. Now, what is the reason why so many people end up not fulfilling their resolution and not following through on the resolutions that they made at the beginning of the year? And basically, what is a, revolu a resolution? A resolution is a promise that you've made to yourself that you're going to, to, to do something or commit to having some kind of outcome. Why is it that most people do not fulfill their resolutions? And it comes down to that five little word that I started this post with, faith. The challenge is that in order to be or do or have anything of consequence in your life, it's going to take work, it's going to take effort, it's going to take patience, observation, coaching, all those things. Most people give up before they get it because they don't have enough faith to believe that it's going to happen to them. And they take the path of least resistance. Rather than persevering through the adversity, they say, maybe this is not for me. So what is the difference between someone who does and someone who does not? More often than not, it's because the person has the faith, has the faith to persevere through the adversity. We're starting our fifth annual Staten Island Slim Down. By the time you watch this, we may have already started, but if you're watching this on the day that it's posted, you know that it's the fifth one. All we're asking for you to do is if you decide to join us, and if you don't, if you're not on Staten Island, you can't join us, this is something that's relevant for you too. Find enough perseverance to follow a plan, to create a plan. I've talked about that in the past. We'll talk about that again another time. You gotta have a plan, very important. You gotta have a plan. Well, we'll talk about that again another time. But once you've established that plan, and again, if you join the Staten Island Slim Down, the easy thing is that the plan has already been constructed for you. You follow the plan for 10 weeks till you get to double digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what will happen for you is miraculous. It's absolutely miraculous. We've had people who have reversed their diabetes, reversed their hypertension. We've had people lose as much as 60 pounds of the program. We've had people rekindle relationships. We've had people end relationships that, are, that have been toxic for them. Great way to lose weight, right? End a relationship that's, that's, that hasn't been, that's not serving you. The 10 weeks will go by whether you follow it with faith or not. The key is, is that when you can implement, implement and you can conjure up that faith that is within you, you unleash the miracle power that lies within you and lies within your circumstances. Yes, can you change your life dramatically in 10 weeks? You absolutely, positively can. How do I know this? Not only because I've done it myself, but because I've seen so many of my fellow Staten Islanders do it 
during the Staten Island Slim Down. We're going to be doing it again. Kickoff is January 25th, 1 p.m. at the JCC 1466 Manor Road. So if you're on Staten Island, you come down and you join us. You do those 10 weeks and you change your life. If you're not available for us, then this is what you do. I'll repeat. Get a tested and proven system, a plan, implement the faith, serve your faith, feed your faith, not your doubt, and allow for your life to change. I know you can do it. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave the way I always do saying, remember to put your heart and soul on your goal. Be well.